Um, another, another example, a recent one, shows another kind of use of something like Windows Azure, which is that uh, you have a project that doesn't last very long. You want to have, uh, have an application up in the cloud, use it for a while, and then take it down again. Um, and in this particular instance, it's kind of cool if you are the University of Southampton um, have a faculty called the, you know, the Atmospheric Science Through Robotic Aircraft, what a cool, <laughs> a cool place to be. Um, and they recently launched a Windows Phone 7 into the stratosphere um, and captured data that it sent back via Windows Azure uh, and processed it via Windows Azure. But now I actually don't know if they're going to shut that application down, but technically, you know, put something up in the cloud, gather a bunch of data, it comes down, process it, and then shut it down again. Um, again, a very common scenario uh, for Azure 2. Just the, the last slide before I want to do a very quick view and, and, and write the quickest, shortest Hello World application in Azure. Um, if you, actually, if you have MSDN, Premium, or Ultimate, then you have access to Windows Azure anyway. Just go and activate the benefit. It's included as part of those, as part of those subscriptions. If you don't, then uh, there's a free trial that's on right now until the 30th of June. You know, Microsoft.com, Windows Azure slash free hyphen trial will get you that free trial until the end of June. Um, you probably might be able to read the small print, but um, it gives you what you know, the compute time, which is essentially an application running, 750 hours of what's called an extra small instance, and also 25 hours of a small instance. So this is just the size of the virtual machine you get. The key thing that really is that 750 hours is, is about the number of hours there are in a month. So it means you can have an application running all that time um, during that period. Or indeed, you can have it running for half a month and have two nodes. You, know, you can use the hours however you like. So let's have a quick look um, at Azure. Well, actually, can't, you can't look at Azure. It's in the cloud. And of course, one of the, I guess one of the interesting things about the cloud is, um, of course, it's for, there are six mega data centers at the moment around the world uh, that Microsoft run. Our nearest data center is in Dublin, uh, which came online in July 2009. Um, and and it's, you, you can imagine, mega data center. Um, it has hundreds of thousands of servers in it. it it's, you know, it's just not something most of us are used to seeing. In fact, I haven't seen it. I've only seen the pictures. But it's, uh, that's what the cloud is, right? It's <laughs> clearly nothing very cloudy. It's actually a data center that someone else is managing for you. And in this case, our nearest, as I say, is Dublin. You can actually put your application in any of the data centers you like. And in fact, that's, that's kind of an important aspect. If you've got you know, customers in Northern Europe or in Asia, then you might want to put your applications in multiple data centers in multiple places. Our nearest happens to be, as I say, Dublin. So let's, um, got Visual Studio 2010 here. Let's go file new project. Let's say, yeah, let's have a new cloud project, please. So when, in here, I have the um, Windows Azure SDK. Current version happens to be 1.4. If you download the SDK, it includes the tools for Visual Studio and, um, and uh, the runtime environment that I'll show you in just a second. So let me add a web role. There are three kinds of roles that you deploy to compute, i.e. to run code in. There's the web role, which is probably as, it's, as it sounds, it's a web application. It's typically how you would use that, or a web service of some kind. There's what's called a worker role, and a worker role is meant to represent, uh, if you like, business logic, or just code executing. It doesn't necessarily have a front end. It doesn't necessarily have a web front end on it. Um, and that's where, actually, you can put whatever runtime you want if you want to use a different environment. You want to put a Java runtime in there or something else. And there's also the idea of a virtual machine role. So you build the virtual machine. So we can't manage it for you once you've built it yourself. But there is the idea of building a virtual machine and putting that in Windows Azure as well. And it's one of the three kinds of roles that we have. So let's create an application with a single web role. So it's just going to, of course, create me a little project. Now, it actually gives you a, uh, the, the, the wizard gives you a, a default application. So I'm going to, going to delete that. Uh, so let's just delete all those bits and pieces. So we're starting from scratch. And let's add. Yeah, this is Hello World, right? So let's just add a, uh, a web form. Let's call it default.xpx. Let's add it in. So let's go into design view so we can space it a little more easily. Let's stick on. You can guess what's coming, can't you? Let's stick on a text box. Uh, let's stick on a button. Let's 
pop a, a label in there. And, I mean, it's just ASP.NET, right? So, you know, if I stick some code inside here, and you can guess what's going to happen. And let's run it. And I suppose the real reason I'm showing you this, firstly, is that you can just create you know, a skeleton application just through that process, just by file new project, and you get something that you can actually run there, there and then. Um, but also it shows you the, the local runtime environment. So when you download that SDK, you also get, if you like, a local copy of Azure. So you can run it inside your environment without a network, if, if that's not usually important, um, but technically it's accurate. So here, of course, let's run the application, make sure it works. Um, Ta-da, very exciting stuff. But we can see, if I go, you probably can't see the icon very easily, but it says that there is a compute emulator is started and the storage emulator is started. Now this application I'm using now doesn't use storage, as you, as you saw, but if I show the compute emulator, then here, and again, the, the font isn't terribly big, and it, it's not really important that you see the detail here, but this kind of gives you the idea that you know, there is a local version of Azure that I can run, my, run and test and debug my applications in, and it's right here. And, and this is um, just the process that Azure goes through in order to deploy an application, which is what the text in this console window is. And in fact, clearly, if I you know, shut this down, then this application will disappear. Um, What's also inside here, that I've actually got another application that's running in this local system. Um, and that is you know, a guest book. And the only reason I mention the guest book, which is inside here, in fact, this one actually is running inside Azure um, rather than on my local machine. You, again, the URL is um, it's running on a staging server right now. The guest book is one of the if you like, training applications to build, um, it takes you through the, the training toolkit. If you download the local training toolkit, then one of the applications is this Azure Guestbook. And it uses a worker role to process back-end images. It, it takes a big image and makes a, you know, a thumbnail of it um, and uses the front-end UI and that kind of stuff. So it gives you a, a, a test and a, and a work, if you like, of a bunch of the different parts of Azure and is a, a great way to get started. Now, obviously, if you just run the wizard and do something, you've got something. But this, the, the training toolkit, again, just a free download, um, gets you started on running these things. And just before we finish, about two minutes left, um, this is the, if you log into your Windows Azure account, um, once you create a free account or activate your MSDN subscription or whatever, then you know, this, is, this is your management portal. So we can see here, I've got three uh, hosted services. Um, there is a some certificates inside here so that I can deploy from my Visual Studio environment because I can right mouse click and say deploy to my Azure account and I've got some certificates set up so that the, my account knows that my local Visual Studio really is me and allows me to post it all straight from Visual Studio uh, and do updates from that environment. Um, uh, but also, you, of course, you can see here I've got a worker role running that represents um, the back end of this UI. Uh, and I've got a, a web role running which represents the front end. Again, appreciate you can't really read those things, but you know, the quickest glance at what the management console actually looks like. So I think that's it. Um, so the, a very, very quick view of Windows Azure or Windows Azure platform. Um, of course, get your free trial if you're interested in playing around with it. Azure.com, you'll find the get started stuff, you'll find the development kits, all that kind of stuff to download and use. Uh, and with that, I'll say thank you very much indeed. Have a great day.